Today we're going to have a look at a Statron power supply. Just got a batch of these come in. Um, and the test setup we're going to use, we've got a Keithley 2015 multimeter. And we're going to use a, a HP 6632B as an electronic load. Um, the load's currently off. You can see negligible ounce amps coming out of the power supply. So, just have a look at that. If you want to check the what the current limit's set at, you can see I've wound up to the maximum. And see, it's specified at 0 to 32 volts and 0 to 6.4 amps. I've currently got the current on the power supply set to 5 volts and the output's currently turned off so if I just turn that output on you can probably hear the power supply that's being used as a load you can hear the fan on that come on if I turn it off again that's just zoom in on the meter and you can see that's now delivering 5.02 amps we zoom back so we can see all the displays and I turn that off you can see this multimeter go from 14.74 volts up to 14.9 volts so there's a little bit of change with a 5 amp but nothing untoward let's uh just see what happens when we turn it on and turn it off again. Um, let's try that while it's driving some current. And what we'll also do, we've got an oscilloscope. So if we turn it off and turn it on and turn it off and turn it on, uh, we can see and it's reasonably clean, there's a little bit of a glitch on the output but nothing untoward and that's happening at 5 amps and if I turn the load off you can hear that and then just turn it off and on and off and on and off and again you can see a little bit of glitch on turn off but there's certainly nothing particularly nasty happening there. Let's have a look inside it. What we've got down the bottom, a bit difficult to see, big transformer and a heat sink on the back. That on the back side we've got two transistors and on the other side we have a bridge rectifier and some smaller devices above the transformer there are some relays that will switch between the various taps on the transformer output a couple of big smoothing capacitors a few smaller ones and from the sat behind the front panel immediately behind the front panel there's two display drivers to drive the two LCD displays um, and the controls to set the voltage and the current limit you can see going to this board that's uh, mounted behind the 